before we get started, I want to show you something about tie positioning. After you're all done tying your tie, this pointy part here should ride just above your belt line. If it rides too low, then that looks sloppy. If it rides too high like this, then it looks kind of dorky. So you want to aim to get it just over your belt line for the ultimate professional look. Okay, let's get started. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to take your collar and fold it up like this so you look real cool. Now, if you have the buttons on your collar, you can just feed your tie up and around through the holes or you can just unbutton them. Then, you want to take the seam part of your tie and just wrap that around your neck like that so that the finished part of the tie is laying flat on your shirt. Okay? Then, what I do is I take my, um, my collar and I fold this down like that. Okay? And I should still have the finished part of my tie facing outwards. Then I take my thumbs and I go underneath my collar and I push up my tie just like that so that um, you can't see my tie peeking out through the collar. Let's see how I did. Now, you shouldn't see any part of my tie peeking out through my collar if I did that right, okay? Now, the next thing you want to do is you need to position the tail end of your tie. This is the skinny end, this is the wide end. So you want to position the tail end of your tie. Now this is going to vary for everyone because people come in different shapes and sizes and heights and so do ties. So I found a spot that works for me. I put mine right about halfway down my body just like this and it's about right over that button. Now if this tail end of the tie, if I position it down here, what that's going to do, that's going to affect where this part of the tie ends up and it's going to make it ride higher. If the tail end of the tie is higher up on my body, then what that's going to do, that's going to make for a longer part of, my, of the wide part of the tie, and it's going to ride way below my belt line, where I don't want it. So I happen to know that this is my sweet spot, and you might have to tie your tie four, five, six times before you get the sweet spot. But once you get it, um, you'll have it, and you'll have it there forever. Now, so I get my tie right there, just above, and I'm pulling down in here, I'm keeping this taut. And then what I'm doing with my left hand, I'm holding the tail end of the tie, and I'm wrapping around just like that, okay? And then I come in here and I pinch that with my fingers, with my left hand. With my right hand, I'm taking the wide end of the tie, and I'm going up through this hole. I push it through, and then I reach around with my fingers, and I pull it all the way through, just like this, okay? Then I'm going to let go, and I'm going to go in with my left hand. I'm going to hold on to my tail just gently. With my right hand, I'm going to work this knot, and I'm going to work it so that it's a nice small knot. I, if you if you have a nice small knot here to start with, you're going to have a nice small knot up here when you're done. If you have a fat wide knot here, then when you're all done, you're going to have a fat wide knot up there. I personally like a nice tight knot. I think it looks more professional that way. Okay. So, this is what we've got so far. We've got a nice little base right here. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap around the wide end of the tie like this, just over the front. And then I'm going to stick my index finger up here. And I'm going to actually wrap it around that. Okay? And then I'm going to come up with the wide end of the tie through this hole. I'm going to reach through with my fingers, grab it, and I'm going to pull it just like that. Then, where I have my index finger making this hole, I'm going to shoot my tie right down through that hole. And I'm just going to tug on that very, very gently, make sure that it goes through nice and neat without any creases in it. Just going to pull that and pull that all the way through, just like that. I'm, now I'm tugging on my tail while I'm doing this, just like that. Keep this nice and taut. Okay. So far, everything's looking pretty good. Now, part of getting a good tie is massaging it and getting all the creases out make, and shaping it, making it look like, um, like a professional knot. All right, then what I do is with my left hand, I hold my tail, I zip up my tie just a little bit like that. And then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna button my top button like that. All right, then I'm, with my left hand, I'm holding on to the tail again and I just zip this, push it up, 
and get it exactly where I want it. There was a little crease in the top there, but I just massaged that out like that. All right, now, when you're all done, you can take the tail end of your tie, and some guys just stick it in their shirt like this. Um, and if your tail's long enough when you're all done, you can just stick it in one of these slots inside of your tie. That's kind of what they're there for. Just like that. All right, now let's see how I did on positioning. It's back up here. Now, my tie should be right over my belt line, and it's perfect, it's professional, it looks good. Let's take another look at that knot again. All right, now I want to give you guys another tip. Um, you should always tie your tie with clean hands. You should wash your hands, especially if you have a light colored tie. Because over time, all the oils and stuff on your hands are going to transfer over to this knot. Because you're always working this knot to make it perfect, all that oil just transfers over and it dirties up your tie. Then you have to go get it cleaned. But if you do it with clean hands, you just won't have that problem. All right, this is Don Georgievich with JobInterviewTools.com, wishing you all the best on your next job interview. We'll see you next time.